everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrap canvas that I'm going to do what I call a puddle pour plus. A puddle pour is very simple. It is a pour that you can do um, pretty easily as a beginner. It's just puddle the paints on the canvas, tip them around, and I may play with it after I've done all that. Um, I have a couple of chains ready. I have a skewer ready, popsicle sticks. I can always do balloon kisses. We'll just see what happens here today. I do have a coat of Artist Law Flow Acrylic White down. So let's go over my paints. My first one is the Blick Relic Fire Red, but I did add the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White to that. So I got a really pretty pink color, which I will show you. And I'll show you consistency right away. Just leaves a little trace and then disappears pretty fast here. And then also to that pink color, I added a, a new product I just bought. It is Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze. And they make these glazes mostly to, um, when your paint is all, painting is all dry, you can glaze it with this and then it'll have that shimmer over the whole painting. But I just added a little dab of this to the pink paint, hoping that it would give it a little bit of sparkle. And this dragonfly glaze goes from green, green to yellow to red, I think it says. And my next paint is the Blickrylic Chrome Orange. The next one is Blickrylic Violet. My next paint is a blue that I had made up called Southern Seas. And again, I added just a dollop of this dragonfly glaze. And it looks like this one goes from purple to blue to green. We'll see how that works out. And my last color is the Blick Relic Mars Black. My pouring medium today is a little bit different. Our Sherwin Williams store which is a paint store here um you can purchase what's called m1 latex paint additive and extender and that is what i'm using today and that is their equivalent to the flow troll um, i did watch uh Cos kathleen osmore of cos creation that coz and she used this m1 and I'll tell you the way to mix, it's a one-to-one -one ratio with paint in the M1. And the way I mixed it was, I put my paint in my cup first, and then I slowly added that M1 uh, latex paint additive and extender, because it is just like water. Matter of fact, I just put some in a squirt bottle here, and you can see it is the consistency of water. So if you just added a whole bunch with your paint, it would be harder to mix. So I just took it slowly and added enough of that till I got the consistency that I wanted. And it did turn out to be about one to one with the paint. No silicone added today. So let's get started. And what I'm gonna do is just lay down my paints. No particular order here. This is one of my favorite pours to do because it's simple, it's fun. Another thing too is whatever colors you decide to use, do stay, stay crisper because you're not mixing the paint together as you would like for a dirty pour. It doesn't go all in one cup. As you can see, you just add the paint in layers. And again, if you would want to fast forward any time during this video, now would be the time because it's going to take me a little while to get all my paints laid out on my canvas here. I 
hope everybody's having a good day today. Where I live, our weather has just been beautiful. Not too hot, not too cold, and just sunny and very nice. No complaints. And if I do have negative space today, that's fine too. It's just kind of all experimental. Just dropping paint here. And I'm, my last color here to add is this pink. Very pale pink. And while I have some spare time, I just wanted to thank all of my subscribers, everyone that watches my channel. I'm very humbled that um, I have passed the thousand subscriber mark. And that I do have some regular followers that I do appreciate. And if you do watch my videos, always feel free to leave a comment. If there's something you think I can help you with, I'd be more than happy to do that. It looks like I'm trying to get some cell action there. Some lacing or cell action going on there. Also, if there's any type of pour that you would like to see me do, leave that in the comments. One that you've seen before that I haven't done in a while. I'd be more than happy to do that too. One that you need particular help with or just want to give it a try and aren't sure about something. One good thing about just about all of the artists I think on YouTube is they're they're really willing to help anyone get started or anyone that has a problem or an issue with a certain type pour. And if you are just starting out, I that is what I suggest is in your spare time. Just watch as many artists as you can. You're going to find that certain artists really excel in certain pores. They're known for it. And have become almost like experts in that, that type pour. And then there are some that are really, really versatile. They can do anything they put their mind to. And that truly is a gift.
in, like I said, this um, M1 latex paint additive and extender. I learned about from watching Cos Creations, Kathleen Osmore. Kathleen does a lot of really, really pretty swipes. She uses a lot of metallics. Just beautiful work. So if you uh, get a chance, check her channel out if you're really interested in doing a swipe. Okay, I think I just have a little bit of this blue left and my paints are finished. And I think I will go ahead and torch before I start tipping. Okay, all my paints. And let's torch these. Get the air bubbles up. I did mix these paints uh, yesterday, so they have been sitting, oh, I'd say about 24 hours now. Okay, and I think what I am going to do is just take the end of my skewer, the blunt end of my skewer, and I, and I am going to just run it through here. Just give this painting another added bonus for the eye. Just mix it up a little bit. Okay, and now I will start tipping. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I do have a lot of paint on here. So what I do with my paint that gets uh, Tipped off the canvas is I have a lowly Vefi mat under here normally, and I let it dry and then I peel it up and I give it to a local craft shop for ladies that do um, jewelry. The skins they're called, and they are very happy to get those. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it here. And I think what I am going to do is um, I am going to run a chain through it just to mix that paint up a little more. And I have my small chain here. And this is why I call this a putter, puddle, pour, puddle Pour Plus. You can just see how it mixes that paint. Make all kinds of designs in here. You can use different size chains. I have a big beaded chain that I use also.
Okay. Just going to take a look at it again. Just maybe run that chain a little bit more in this area. And I think I will give it a torch. And I think I want a little bit more purple in this area if I can just get a little bit more out of my cup here and then run my chain through that. And maybe I'll even put a little bit of white on top of that. And then I will give that a swipe with the chain here and see what we get. little bit of the white came through on that. That's a little better. Didn't get much purple, but I did get the white and it broke it up a little bit. Okay, I think I'll get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are with our close-up. And off-screen, I screen I did run uh, my uh, beaded uh, necklace through this quite a bit more so this is the upper left hand corner just going down the left side here I just mixed up those paints a little bit more and this is the lower left hand corner and we'll take you up the middle now. Pretty happy with how the paint got distributed. Very pretty in here. And we'll go over to the right hand corner now. You can see where I did do a lot more of the, uh, the chain pull through here. Just going down the right hand side here now. And in here it's very pretty too, very bright. This is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. Again, thank you to all my subscribers and my watchers. Until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.